Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel, Fountain City Fingerboards. Today we are going to do a tour of all the obstacles that I own. So, we're going to start out with the very first thing I got, which is this old red rail. It was good for the time being, but it tips over really easily. I got it on Amazon for like 15 bucks maybe. Wouldn't recommend it. Um, usually end up taping these these parts down as you can see but uh it, hey it worked for worked for the time being then we graduated up we got the um this is the ramp number two black river ramps let's see if i can get a good shot of it here and i got everything i get I, I put stickers all over it so but this is just basically just a uh a little ramp with the uh, coping on two levels you got a high level and a low level it's pretty long too. It's probably it's over a foot, I think, at least. Um, but yeah, that was the second one I had ever gotten. Let me go. Let me go to this shot. There we go. That's a little better, a little better angle. Then we got, I think, let me turn it around, and face the right way. And then we got the um, the bench, Black River rent. This is the full size bench. This isn't the the small one, as you can see. So I like that one a lot. <clears throat> got a lot of good sessions out of that. And I think at about the same time I got that, I got the Black River ramps. The um, what they call this the wall ride. It's basically just a very very steep um, steep. Uh, transition I guess which we call it but uh, anyway moving forward we've got the Mike Schneider uh, ramp number three and this one is cool because right now it has the uh, the brick ledge on the top but I have uh, on the way from from uh, Black River it's a uh, rail that goes like this and make it like forms an L so you can go over the over the rail or you can hit the rail on the side and then go to the other part a lot more uh, possibilities so it's pretty cool it's kind of a modular ramp by uh, Black River hopefully they'll do some more attachments for it that'd be really neat if they did that um, but yeah that that is still a ton of fun with just the brick ledge that's on it I'll kind of give you a, a, sh a, sh a shorter angle there it's pretty it's nice very nice I want to show you this while we're here while we're at it this is the uh, <laughs> um, teak recycling bin we got all the best stickers on there <laughs> sewer alien doom lagoon ill pills we got a baker on there dynamic DK DK we're praying for you guys pray for Ukraine that's uh, some some messed up stuff Rush is doing. But, uh, whoa, whoa, throwing it. And we got duck decks. Just got my first duck deck in today, actually. Um, it's really cool. <laughs> really cool. Yeah, I usually, uh, I just keep extra decks in here, usually. Some that don't have trucks. Alright, and moving on, we've got the Black River Ramps kicker. I can just show you this one and I got stickers all over this too this thing's fun to use uh, in combination with uh, other obstacles yeah and that's not the pop kicker it's the uh, <clears throat> full size so that is fun Next up, uh, let me move my my uh, stuff out of the way. Next up, we got the arc ramps. This is the quarter pipe with extension, and uh, this thing is awesome. I love it. It's a uh, really nice craftsmanship, craftsmanship, and you can. And the cool thing is the coping. Uh, not knocking dynamic, but uh, or not dynamic, not knocking Black River, 
but he uses uh, full uh, metal or <clears throat> whatever this is. It's it's a it's not hollow. It's full. It's a it's a solid piece on uh, on the coping on both of those. So that's really cool. I, I dig that a lot. And good transition. This is a good little setup like piece to do different tricks tricks on it, and you can do coping tricks or use it as a you know a turnaround <laughs> basically. And this is the newest addition. Let me back some stuff up here. We got the um, arc ramps, and this is called the mall ledge. So basically, just a uh, it's like a mani pad ledge, all in one, basically. Uh, love this thing, love it. And this is a, uh, I think it's granite, if I'm not mistaken, granite or marble, one of the two. But it sounds so good. Let me let me grab a deck so we can see if I can film and do this at the same time. Yep. <clears throat> here we go. we'll give it one more shot. <laughs> All right, here I'll just do this. So smooth. He ground that down. I get doesn't even need wax. <laughs> Does not even need wax. See how smooth that is, and that's with 60 diameter truck uh, wheels. <laughs> it's a really really well made uh, obstacle. Highly recommend. Um, next we'll go to the, the rails and stuff like that. Let me set that to the side. Uh, the next thing I bought was the wide uh, yellow wood. Uh, it's their uh, jersey barrier. The jersey barrier by yellow wood. They call it the Y barrier. Um, I actually had to, I didn't have to, but I wanted to. I, um, I used some lacquer on this. Uh, some semi-gloss lacquer, so it's uh, it's it's in. It doesn't need wax either. It's it's completely. Sorry, let me do this. Yeah, there we go. It's completely smooth. No matter what deck or what truck you use, it's. I mean, it's smooth. It's it's going. <laughs> but um, got the. That's fun. That's probably one of my favorite right now. Set that to the side. <clears throat> and uh, Black River has actually these, uh, they call them blemish. Uh, if you go to their obstacle section, there's a blemish area. And this had the blemish on it was a little bubble right here. I just took out some sandpaper, sanded it down, and it's perfect now. And this, as well, does not need any wax whatsoever. It's, it's, it is just, it is perfect. They did a great lacquer job. They got their logo. And I like the, the little specks in it. It's really cool. Really cool. Fun little ramp to mess around with. All right. And let's see what we've got next. We'll show this one. This is the um, flat face. This is the marble bench, the limited limited edition one. Um, really like the colors on this. I did put a little bit of wax on this, just to just to make it a little smoother. But this thing is awesome. It's a lot of fun. All right, now let's set that aside. Next up, this is something else I got from Flat Face. I was a little disappointed in it. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to just be a flat, flat block, but it's, uh, it's curved. I tried to counteract it with some extra, um, extra grip tape on the bottom, but it's still, it's still, uh, very, uh, janky. I meant to I meant to write to him and tell him about it, but I never did. And it got to be too long, and I just said, forget it. So I just use it every now and then, but this is not my favorite just because of that that flaw. Um, next up, oh wait, we showed that. <laughs> I put it back in the area where I haven't showed. The uh, next thing we have is the dynamic trucks. Well, they make more than 
and trucks with dynamic fingerboards. Uh, this is their round rail in the regular silver. Love this thing. Um, it is round. I love that the shape on that. It's it's just different than you know like a standard Amazon rail. You get like that. You know what I mean? It's just nicer. <laughs> Anything dynamic does is just really nice, really nice stuff. Great finish on it, and I got I gotta let you hear the sounds. Oh, sounds awesome! <laughs> All right, and last but not least, this is one that I made myself. Um, I used to use some wood glue, and this is a. 12 inch drawer, uh, handle for like a kitchen drawer cabinet whatever but but yeah this one as well makes it good it's not quite as good as the uh, the dynamic but it's got some good some, uh, noises to it as well but yeah um, and one more thing I wanted to show you this is the ducky deck I accidentally put the frosted tape on there. I didn't mean to. <laughs> but it's still cool. This is so cool. Like, you can see everything on it. It's a, a polycarbonate deck. So, it, deck, so it's like um, pretty much indestructible. Um, but, yeah, that sticker. This is grip on here, if you can't tell. But yeah, that, that's the uh, the newest addition there. I didn't. I didn't have a uh, very uh, good razor blade, so it's a little rough. <laughs> but this thing's been fun lately. But hey, guys, thank y'all for tuning in today. I uh, hope you have a good rest of your weekend. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, we're we're at about forty percent subscribed that keep watching videos, and that's awesome. If we could just get it up to get it up to that, um, you know. 60% that'd be awesome 60-70% would love that so if you're not subscribed already go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon that way you're notified of uh, any new videos as I do we are planning to do another giveaway it's, it's kind of pushed back for a little bit but we're still going to do one um, but yeah make sure you subscribe so if we do that then you're notified of when we're doing it because I'll make sure to keep you updated um, last thing I want to show, I got some sad dude wheels. These are called Lemon Haze. And I went ahead and stuck those on the Goo LTD deck I got, which has the uh, duck, ducky tape as well. And it's got the cool uh, top ply on it. Usually you have to pay for that, and sometimes randomly you'll get a deck that has the uh, cool top ply. And I was uh, lucky enough to get it. But yeah, I think the wheels and everything look really good with that. But anyway, guys, thank you all again for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful night, and tell your family you love them.